Good morning, everyone. And I'll uh, reiterate a, a thank you to the Chamber and to Brett for putting on the program and to all of our sponsors today. Uh, part of our vision at uh, Carlsbad High School is that all Lancers will be valued, challenged, and empowered to meet their potential in and out of the classroom. And one of our leaders on our campus in making that happen is Edward Gardner. Uh, through Edward could be recognized for a variety of uh, great qualities that he's got, but it's really through his leadership of the Best Buddies program and the support that that club, uh, one of our strongest and best attended clubs that we have on campus, the support that those students do for our special needs students, the way that they empower them, they challenge them, they give them value, that sense of camaraderie and friendship that uh, teenagers need. Uh, through that work, Edward makes a tremendous impact on our campus. And he is truly, the leadership that he gives truly is a multiplier out in terms of the inclusion and the positivity and the value that people feel on our campus. So I'm really proud of his work. I really appreciate his work because he brings something to our campus that we have great value for. Uh, so let me introduce to you Edward Gardner, his family, and Mrs. Wentland, his teacher. <laughs> my dad everyone. Uh, <laughs> hi everyone, thank you so much for coming. Uh, I want to thank the Chamber of Commerce and all the wonderful sponsors for enabling this event. Uh, um, I really, all your stories are so incredible and all of you are incredibly tough acts to follow so the, f the fact that I have to follow all three of you is <laughs> wonderful. So uh, as Ms. Dr. Brock had already said, my name is Edward Gardner. I'm a senior at Carlswood High School. Uh, those are my parents, Tom and Katie, and uh, behind me is also my t favorite teacher, Ms. Wentland. Uh, today, I just want to quickly speak about Best Buddies. Uh, Best Buddies is a club at Carlsbad High School that pairs students with IDDs, intellectual developmental disabilities, with uh, peer buddies who are also Carlsbad students. Uh, the club meets every Wednesday at lunch and has given me a way to contribute to the Carlsbad community by creating an environment of inclusion where no student feels left out, has a friend to talk to, and always has someone to hang out with the weekends or to just, you know, talk at lunch with. Uh, However, this program has given more back to me than I could ever contribute. I've learned the true value of simply having a conversation with someone who may not yet have the conf uh, confidence to start the conversation themselves. Uh, I've met some of my best friends through this club, including my best friends Jordan and Cameron Robinson, who I've been watching football with on Sundays for the past four years. It was tough to build up the courage as a tiny freshman to talk to people uh, I'd never met before and attempt to build a friendship at an entirely new school. Uh, while we may have some differences, for example, Jordan uh, is not a very big Tom Brady fan, whereas I think he is one of the greatest humans to ever walk the planet. Uh, we've looked past that and we've become best friends ever since uh, that first Wednesday during freshman year. Uh, the, I believe that in a world where people are very driven by wealth and material possessions, uh, the benefits of actively trying to improve someone's, uh, someone else's life has become lost in a lot of people. Uh, I hope to continue working with people with special needs, and I hope to use the lessons I learned next fall when I'll be attending Dartmouth College. A major reason I chose Dartmouth was its focus on collaboration geared, to uh, geared towards improving the world, both in the present and for the future. I plan to major in economics due to my love for business from a young age that was inspired by my oldest brother, Sam. Uh, I want to thank the Chamber of Commerce again, as well as Dr. Brockett and Dr. Stites for giving me the chance to speak today. Thank you so much. I'd like to thank Dr. Brockett right now for letting me know I was speaking this morning. And, um, but I'm happy to be here for Edward. He is, like many of the students, uh, he thrives academically. He's very hardworking and so bright. But no GPA or SAT score could outshine in my mind what is his greatest strength, and that's his kind and compassionate heart. Edward walked into my room three years ago, and he is the third of this lovely family's children. Um, he, I am the mother of somebody who's a special needs child, and so Edward and his family's work has always meant so much to me personally. He is um, so kind, compassionate, empathetic, respectful. He treats all of the people around him with a sense of justice and equity and fairness. And I know that's true for his 
teammates, his family, his classmates, his best buddies, his special Olympians that he didn't mention. Um, and I know that as he graduates and goes out into the world, the circle of people he'll influence and benefit is only going to grow. And he's one of those kids that your heart just warms. You're reminded why you teach, why you parent, why you administer. And I am so proud of him and so happy that he's being honored today. Congratulations, Edward. I'm Katie Gardner. I'm Edward's mother, and this is my husband, Tom. And we're so proud of Edward, but um, he knows that. And we'd really like to take this opportunity to thank the Carlsbad Unified School District and all the amazing teachers and amazing administrators who've had such a profound positive impact on all three of our children. Edward is our youngest. We've had a child in the school district since 2002. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so we'll be leaving the district this year when um, Edward graduates. We will no longer have a student. but. Um, Tom and I often talk, often talk, about the spirit of um, inclusion and tolerance at the high school that was nothing like what we experienced at our own high schools. It's, it's just embodied there. It's highlighted through, through um, CHS TV and the stories that the wonderful students produce on the vast, diverse student population that we have. And the diversity is celebrated. And um, we're so grateful for it. And we're particularly grateful to um, Becky Wentlin. She's not just Edward's favorite teacher, she is everybody's favorite teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's everyone just knows what an amazing person, amazing role model, and really a genius as an educator. Um, so that's really all we'd like to say is just um, to express our gratitude for the outstanding, world-class, fabulous education that um, Calavera Hills Elementary, Calavera Hills Middle, and Carlsbad High School provided for all three of our children. Thank you so much. Thank you.